Hi Stamping Friends, Melissa Kerman here with Melissa's Crafting Treehouse. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I sell all the products that I share in my videos. Today's project is one of my May-June 2019 club and free card kit projects. Here's a look at the kits you could receive with qualifying orders. To learn more about my clubs and free card kit program, you'll find links in the video description below. Today's project is also intended to offer a bit of a sneak peek into some of the components of my new Technique class series. These Technique classes will each include a Technique page like the one you see here. Make sure to stay to the end to learn about this new program. For today's project, I'm using the Hummingbird Framelits, which coordinates with the Humming Along stamp set. This is available as a bundle now, but it is retiring. Uh, we'll also be featuring the uh, Brusho Crystal Color, which comes in uh, five with five bottles, five different colors. You see the first three there, the yellow, uh, orange, and red. The orange is called Gamboge. And the other two colors are Prussian Blue and Moss Green. Those are the two featured colors for today. And you see some of the backgrounds that I've created uh, with those two colors. So I'm starting with uh, watercolor paper and I want to uh, wet, complete, completely wet that watercolor paper. So um, I actually sprayed it first with my spray bottle and then I used my aqua painter to cover the whole surface with water. Sprinkled just a little bit of the um, blue on there and I really wanted to cover the whole background with blue because I um, didn't really want a whole lot of white space in my finished project. So now I'm squeezing my aqua painter to apply a little bit more water onto my paper. Uh, the brusho reacts with the water and that's how you get the really cool effect um, that we're creating here today. So you can see now I'm squeezing a little bit more water on there. So you want to make sure that your piece is uh, wet uh, pretty much at all times. The sprinkles just kind of sit there on the surface, kind of dry if they have nothing to uh, react with. So now I'm applying some of the moss green and uh, this moss green by itself is super sort of dirty and mossy colored. It's not really the prettiest color by itself, but when you combine it with this Prussian blue, you uh, get these just gorgeous uh, blues and greens and some yellows in there. You even get some little specks of purple as well. So I'm going in just uh, back and forth, putting some sprinkles of blue, some sprinkles of green, spraying it with my spray bottle, uh, and occasionally adding droplets with my aqua painter as well. Now the more you spray it, the more you, um, uh, the, the little specks of crystals kind of go away, and it becomes more of a watercolory look than um, the little specks of crystals. And so you don't want to add too much water but you just kind of play with it and get the look that you like. Before going on to the next step, your watercolor paper needs to be completely dry. So I've brought in my heat tool and on the low setting, I'm just uh, heating that piece. So for the first piece that I did, I used watercolor paper, as I mentioned. Uh, for this one, I'm doing shimmer cardstock, which uh, also um, works really well with the technique. Um, and so I just wanted to show you a different version. It comes out really differently each time, so I'm kind of speeding through this. Um, I started with my blue watercolor wash, and then I'm just adding some of my blue and my green, spraying it, and you can sort of see the transformation process in front of you. So if you don't have shimmer paper and you want to make your own sort of shimmer spray, you can use some of this frost white shimmer paint mixed in uh, with some isopropyl alcohol. I use the 91% um, in a spray bottle and you can make your own shimmer spray. So you could take a, a focal piece that you've done or a background piece on watercolor paper, mix up some of this spray and then spray it right onto your surface. When I make my shimmer spray, I don't actually measure the quantities. I just kind of approximate, and but I'm you know would probably recommend maybe four or five drops of your shimmer paint to a couple of tablespoons, um, maybe two three tablespoons of alcohol, and then spray it and see what you think. And if you want it to have more shimmer to it, just add more paint. So here are my two finished background pieces. This one is the shimmer paper, and the one on the left is the watercolor paper that I sprayed with the shimmer spray that I created. Uh, so you can see how different they each turn out. 
Now both of these background pieces are completely dry and uh, so the next step is to put a fixative on the surface so that your sprinkles don't rub off on your clothes or your hands. I'm just using a liquid uh, form of hairspray and spraying each of my pieces. Once the background pieces are completely dry, uh, you can start to assemble the card and uh, the assembly process is really quite simple. You're just going to attach your background piece to the Whisper White card base. This is a piece of thick Whisper White cardstock and I've already put the adhesive on the back of my background, so just attaching that. And then I've put um, the um, foam adhesive strips on the back of my frame. Now you can also use dimensionals. The foam adhesive strips are a little bit taller than the dimensionals so you can decide what you like. I found them to be a little bit taller than I might like so I kind of went back to using the dimensionals on some of the other uh, versions that I did. So I'm just going ahead and attaching that to the front of my card. And then I'm also going to put dimensionals on the back side of my hummingbird. When you put your dimensionals on the back of the hummingbird, just make sure not to put any towards the bottom of the lowest feather, if you will, because that bottom part of the hummingbird overlaps the frame just by a little bit. Now off camera, I have die cut my hummingbird with the hummingbird framelit, and I have also dry embossed it with the layered leaves embossing folder. So while I finish up assembling my card, I like to provide a few highlights about my new Technique class series. So first of all, you can sign up for a single class or a series of three. The classes will generally include two card designs and a Technique page. Second, there will be an electronic only option, which will include a video tutorial and a PDF with project dimensions a supply list, and photos with detailed step-by-step -step instructions. And third, there will be an in-person live class option and a class to go option complete with project kits to make the cards and technique page at home. These are just some of the highlights of my new program, so make sure to go check out all the details on my website. You'll find a page dedicated to this new program in the tutorials and classes tab on my website. I hope you've enjoyed my project today and will come back and visit me sometime soon. Plus, make sure to check out the video description below for lots of useful links. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with friends, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for spending some time with me today, and happy crafting!